Hey everyone, welcome to Preach Guitars and welcome to episode two of Around the Showroom. We had such an amazing response from you guys about the first video we did, just going around the showroom in real time, picking out our favorite guitars. So we're gonna do the same thing again. We're starting here in the warehouse, surrounded by guitars and loads of pedals, as you can see. And we're gonna go around the showroom now and pick out our favorites, so come with us. Let's head straight upstairs. Right, so up here, we've got Patrick James Eggle guitars, we've got a room full of Sures and Exotics and Nash guitars, this whole wall of PRS. Down there, we've got Tom Andersons, Nick Hubers, we've got Novo guitars, but let's head straight into the Gibson Custom Shop room. This room is so awesome. Right, what stands out to us, Ryan? I think you're kind of spoiled for choice in here, to be really honest, but this, I'd say this one, catches my eye the most. Just something about the kind of patina of the colour and the style of the ageing, just really looks like a guitar that's been used and taken on the road, but kind of really, really loved. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite in here, I'd say. Right, what's next? Uh, PRS, let's have a look at the PRS wall, I suppose. Right, so speak of spoilt for choice, this incredible selection of PRS guitars. Mark Littieri, we've got the John Mayer Silver Sky. There's all these incredible guitars and all these amazing finishes as well. Like, check this one out. This is the Mark Tremonti signature model. And I just love the way that the binding is actually a continuation of the maple top and just how carefully they finish it. So they take the top finish all the way out to the edge and then stain that binding or make it almost appear like a binding, but it's actually just the maple top. So the one that always stuck in my mind, always sticks out to me is the DGT model. And this is in this beautiful aquamarine color. Something about these guitars, the neck profiles are really comfortable and Dave Grissom is known for such a wide variety of styles and he's such a virtuosic player that anything endorsed by him must be incredible. Right, let's check out Novo guitars. Now, before I started working here, I'd only ever played one Novo and now I've been lucky enough to play the whole selection that we've got here. And I just think they're incredible. All the different models, all the different styles. And now I've got the hard job of picking one. Uh, I mean, the Mirror Sinceros models always stand out to me, and this Candy Apple one is just beautiful, but I think this is the thing that really sticks out to me today. This is a Volta J model, and these just, the necks are so comfortable. They're quite big, but they're really, really playable, and the setup and weight of the instrument is, is awesome. I just love this finish as well, and you can see the pine body through the finish. Yeah, and the necks are just shaved down. They're super comfortable. Yeah, I look forward to plugging that in in a minute. Okay, let's go. Just wanted to do a, a small shout out to you acoustic guitar players uh, because we're just about to walk past the acoustic room. So we just want to show you some of the things that are in there. Now in here, we've got an amazing selection of Martins in all the different ranges of Martin guitars. An incredible selection of Loudons. Probably a bigger selection of Loudons than anywhere I've ever seen actually all the different body shapes, all the different wood configurations and combinations. And then in this part, we have this amazing selection of Taylor guitars on display. And that's our lovely Jot doing his thing. Let's head to the saloon. I've been really, really impressed with the American Vintera 2 series by Fender. So I want to share some of that stuff with you. Come with me. So here we have the Vintera series, and we've got the 50s models with the maple fingerboard on the maple neck. We've got the 70s with the big headstock. We've got this in a rose of fretboard, as well as the maple fretboard. But the one that really sticks out to me is this. This is the 50s no cast, and there's just something about these guitars. No thrills, but just all of the ability and versatility of the Telecaster, no caster, broadcaster guitars. And these come with the three brass saddles, the 
big 50s style maple neck with that vintage radius. And this is just such an iconic looking guitar. So we're gonna go back into the warehouse and here's why. Usually when the Fender Master Builds come in, I don't even get a chance to see them, let alone play them. But I've just heard that one of the Levi Perry models is sitting in our photographer Adam's studio right now. So I'm gonna try and get my hands on it. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. How's it? Good, good. Right, I'm going to give you this so you can chat with us. Hi. What do you think? I love it. Um, yeah. The it looks Asian's, great, doesn't it? Asian's really nice. I like it when the Asian's dirty. And yeah. And you can feel the wood grain. Sure. I've been searching high and wide around the showroom to find a master-built strat that I can get my hands on. Well, there you go. Get your hands on it. Thank you, mate. So... Levi is one of the newest members to the Masterbuilt team and this is the first guitar of his that we've had for general sale and it just looks awesome. I love the colour of the headstock yeah. and the, as you said, the ageing on it is just really, really great and that darkness of the wood is cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that the colouring of the red is darker as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a Fiesta red but it is a really dark, deep red which looks great. And actually the ageing around the pickups looks really cool too. Well, I'm looking forward to plugging this in. So we're going to come and steal this back off you in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's all right, there you go. Appreciate you. See you later. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us, guys, as we've gone around the showroom. We're going to grab those guitars, take them back to the studio and plug them in one by one so you can hear how they sound. Guitars, fucking great. Are we going? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're back in the studio, and this is the Fender Custom Shop Master Built Levi Perry 62 in Fiesta Red with heavy aging. And this guitar sounds as good as it looks, and plays and feels even better. <laughs> So now we're sitting with the Fender Ventera 2 and this is the 50s no caster model and this is my first time playing the Ventera series and this guitar feels amazing. It's got this 50s U-shape profile neck which feels amazing and really authentic to that vintage era. But also having a Mexican made Fender with these brass saddles is something I want to draw your attention to. These brass saddles just really help open up that kind of top end but allow it to be still really smooth and kind of round rather than too piercing or bright. And this is also really authentic to that era again. So now we're sitting with this gorgeous DGT PRS. Now Dave Grissom's signature model has been one of the most iconic signature guitars from PRS for a long time now. A real fan favourite and every time I sit with one of these you can really see why. They're so playable and the DGT pickups are just so open, so versatile and through the controls here you've got a volume for each pickup and a tone control with a push-pull. You can get so many different tones from this amazing instrument.
So this is our pick from Novo for today. This is the Volta J with the mastery trem and bridge. There's almost too many appointments on this guitar to speak of. There's so many specs that I love on this thing. The neck feels amazing. The ice blue metallic finish on this really light body is beautiful, but a few of my kind of favorite things are the P90s by Fralin, which sound amazing, super open, but super punchy and responsive to how I dig into the string. The mastery trem is sensational. The way it moves, it's so smooth and allows you to be really subtle or really full on. So if I just play one chord. Even just the slightest movement and it follows your every command. The other thing is the compound radius fretboard. This is a 9.5 to a 14 inch compound radius fretboard, which allows you to have all that kind of vintage feel down low. But then as you get high, all the articulation clarity and no fear of choking out on big bends high up the fretboard. As you can see from the footage earlier on, there is no shortage of Gibson Custom Shops here at Peach Guitars and it will always feel a little bit like a childhood dream to walk into that room and just get to select my favourite like I did today. And this is the one that just caught my eye. There's something about the colour on this one, the patina, the ageing, slightly heavier on the back and the checking through the lacquer, um, but the neck feels amazing. I love the ageing of the machine heads as well and as soon as I plugged it in, it just sounds awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video guys we really appreciated the feedback we got on the first video we did around the showroom i uh, hope you enjoyed episode number two i'm sure there will be an episode number three and moving forward please let us know what you might like to see uh, and please let us know if any of the guitars that you saw in this video stood out to you or if you saw something in the background that caught your eye we'd love to know if you want to know more details about these guitars that you've seen in this video, please head over to the Peach Guitars website where you can see all of them listed with all of the specs as well as detailed photographs, weights and serial numbers. And you can also go to the app store where you can download the Peach Guitars app where everything is listed that we've got in stock. Thank you so much for being here with us guys and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.